Yo, what is going on you guys? It is Young Cards here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys the keys to making a lo-fi type beat in FL Studio. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. First things first, you're gonna to need to download Isotope Vinyl and MDA Degrade. Both of these VSTs are free. Make sure you install those into your FL Studio. Once you have done that, let's get right into making the project. All right, so let's go into FL Studio here, set your BPM to somewhere between 170 BPM and 200 BPM and then half speed it. It just makes it easier to work with a slow running beat. All right, once you've done that, go ahead into a piano VST of your choice, FL Keys, Nexus, Keyscape, whatever, just get a piano out and I would say create a chord progression on any major scale. I'm going to use E major in this case. And we're going to create a chord progression using major ninth notes. That is not a piano. This is a piano. We are going to add a strumizer effect to this to make it sound nice and smooth, nice and natural and realistic. Beautiful. Now we're going to add a top melody. some note velocity effects to this. We're gonna go with negative 20%. So now that we got our chord progression and our top melody, we will go ahead and go into our first mixer insert and add isotope vinyl to our uh, chord progression and our melody um, our, with our top notes. So we're going to add some warp depth. We're going to add some dust, a little bit of wear, not too much. And then turn the RPM all the way up. And now you're going to get this trippy, wavy piano vibe. Check it out. So that sounds amazing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our master track and we're gonna add a MDA degrade. And now it's gonna make it really sound like a lo-fi beat. Don't forget to add a fruity soft clipper in here as well to keep everything from clipping and I'm gonna go ahead and EQ my piano we're gonna clone our piano just like so and we're gonna take our top melody out of this one so the reason why I have this uh, just the chords themselves and then the chords with the top melody is so I can switch between the two throughout the track. So like I can just have it playing just the chords for the verse for example. And then when we get to the hook I can then use this layer with the top melody and it will just fit right in with the hook. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some drums on top of this. Get the clap wide. Let's do it. Add a little perk. No, that one does not work well. What the 
hate when that happens. Add some hi-hats, fill each with two steps, and then we're gonna add some bounce to this. So as you can see, the hi-hats are nothing crazy. Um, and now we're going to add some bounce to the hi-hats by randomizing the velocity. So we'll do maybe like negative 19%. Why not? Let's keep it odd. Most importantly, you do not want to forget your sub bass. Now, I like to use Electra X for sub basses. I'm going to go into the Savage Electra. It's Savage. Is it one? I think it's Savage Electra Bank 2. And then any of these basses are pretty good. I'm going to use the bass clean. So, this is a clean sub bass. And now we're going to lay it down onto the melody. So yeah, we do have more EQing to do. Um, but other than that, we have everything that we need. So we're going to assign everything to our mixer tracks. Just like so. We're going to select all these. Control Shift L. And then we're going to turn everything up except for the pianos because of their smooth note velocities. We'll leave the hi hats the way they are. We can turn them up a little bit until we top out. The highest note just like that beautiful turn up the open hats turn the kick all the way up and then turn the sub bass all the way up and bada bing bada boom now i'm going to mix this so i'm going to skip that part because i take forever for mixing all right so the beat is now all mixed the only thing i had to change was the kick because the one the other kick i was using was a little too powerful so i just went into nick mira's forge drum kit threw in the berry kick because this is my favorite kick right now and uh it's a really really good kick especially if you want an overpowered kick um so yep this is how i mixed it this is how i leveled it um and yeah this is what the final mix sounds like <laughs> So yeah, the kick is very overpowered in this. That's what I like usually. Um, but it's not a big deal when you have Fruity Soft Clipper on the master track because it keeps everything from clipping. Yes, it's an overpowered kick, but I like overpowered kicks. As long as you have that soft clipper on, you know, that takes care of everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange the beat. Okay, so we just finished arranging the, the beat. Um, but one thing I want to point out is... Uh, because we set our BPM to half speed earlier, some of your sounds might actually be pitched down a little bit. Uh, for example, my sound tag. <laughs> that does not sound right at all. So what you can do is you can go into that, that particular sound, go into the little wrench here, and then set it to C4, and then that will pitch it up. It will pitch it up a little bit, so like this. <laughs> All right, so now my sound tag sounds normal. I can place it right there, and then. Yeah. <laughs> I can 
turn my melody. I can turn my melodies up a little bit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a lo-fi hip-hop type beat in FL Studio. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe because it helps me grow the channel and it helps me, you know, get myself out there and show other people the sauce so everybody's happy. Um, that is all for me today and I will see you guys in the next one.